I'm so excited to start another vlog. Also, my dryer's going, if you can hear that. But I've been working on like multiple videos and I haven't actually vlogged really in a while because I'm doing a video where I try different foods from Trader Joe's. So I'm kind of vlogging each day, but it's not really taking you through my day. So I wanted to do that today. I'm starting this vlog at about 3 p.m. It's been such a productive day. Yesterday was Memorial Day. So I had so much to do today just to catch up. So I've been doing that and my bread, last time I tried making it last week, it didn't rise very well and it just wasn't good. Honestly, it was too dense and just didn't taste that good. So I want to try to make some more and I just checked my starter, it floated. So I think I'm going to make just a single loaf with the recipe that's been a success before. So I thought I would start this vlog here. Excited to just take you along. I'm wearing this cute sweatshirt that's from a local boutique. I had it for like a couple years. But today I filmed my May reading wrap up. So if you wanna see that, I'll link it below. That's why I got ready. Clean the house, wash the sheets, finish the laundry. Currently importing some photos to start editing a session, which is exciting. So just a lot going on. Let's make some bread. I'm so excited. I'm hoping that it will be a success and I plan to take you through the whole process of me making it, so. Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open so that I can Good morning guys, it is now Wednesday and I was shaping my dough this morning and I forgot to show you, I'm so sorry. I stretch and, stretched and folded it four times and then I put it in the fridge overnight. Took it out, shaped it, it's supposed to rest for 10 minutes and then it goes in a lined bowl. There's the dogs. And then you preheat the oven obviously and then you cook it. The dough actually looks pretty good, let me show you. It actually looks pretty good, I'm very excited. I'm feeling like this one might be a success because I feel like the size of the dough is pretty good and it folded, like it shaped very well. So I'm feeling good about it. But anyways, that's what's going on. I will show you the um, rest of the process, which is not much left. The shaping is kind of the most fun part besides taking the bread out of the oven. But it's about nine o'clock. I woke up at like seven this morning. Hi, Lily. And did my quiet time in bed and then let the dogs out, did my chores, emptied the dishwasher, made breakfast, had some waffles for breakfast. Oh, also I finished watching through my video for today and it's currently exporting. And that's what's been going on, but I'm going to let this rest for about five more minutes. Well, <laughs> this loaf What's a complete fail? I should have reshaped the dough because it kind of fell and now it's literally flat. So that's great. Honestly, I've made quite a few loaves and I've never had one this flat. Like literally, it's so flat. Like it's not even going to work, which makes me so sad because I've literally been taking you along this process. But it's all my fault. The mistake I made was I shaped the dough. It looked so good and then I put it in a bowl to set on parchment paper and it stuck to the parchment paper. So I was trying to like shape it again and then it went flat and I was like, I'm just gonna cook it. And that was my mistake. I should have fixed it before I put it in the oven because it literally looks so bad. Like this is probably gonna go in the trash. I will cut it and show you, but it's probably gonna go in the trash because it's literally inedible. But I'm going to feed my starter again in hopes that I can try again later today because I just want a good loaf of sourdough because Last week when I made some, it didn't turn out good either. It just didn't taste good, it's too dense, didn't rise very well. And this one, it was a complete fail. So, also I cooked it for the amount of time I usually cook it and it literally wasn't even like crispy or brown. That was a fail, I'm very sad that I took you through this process and it was a fail. But we are gonna try again and hopefully tomorrow it won't be a fail. This is literally gonna be me making sourdough this whole vlog. And now it is time to cut this fail of a sourdough loaf. I'm very sad, but the great news is that my starter has risen a lot since I fed it. So this is the line and it's way up here. So I'm not quite there yet, but getting there. So I'm very excited about that. 
It is very dense, as you can tell, but um, I don't know if it's any more dense than it's been in past loaves, but it's clearly flat as a pancake, which is so sad. But I just ate lunch where I would try it, but I wanted to at least show you what the inside looks like. Pretty disappointing, but I'm gonna leave it here on the counter. Ethan might try some when he gets home. Oh my goodness, I just made an iced coffee, obviously, and I was using the Trader Joe's brown sugar creamer. And I've used it before, but I didn't add as much, and this time I added a little bit more. And oh my goodness, it tastes incredible. Literally so good. So yummy, so sweet. I feel like if you want to make coffee more at home, you need this creamer because it's so yummy. Great news, my sourdough starter has doubled, which is very exciting. So I think I'm going to go ahead and mix the dough, let it sit for 30 minutes, maybe longer, and then start doing the stretch and folds. I'm not gonna film it because I already showed you the process of doing that. There's nothing new to it, but I'm very excited to try again. But I'm so excited about my coffee, it's so yummy. Thursday, I made a sourdough loaf. The dough looked great and I thought I shaped it well, but the scoring, like you can't see it in the dough, it didn't rise. It's obviously thicker than yesterday's, but it still didn't rise very well. I don't really know what's wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm trying too hard and that's why my sourdough dough is not a success. I don't know. But we're gonna see once I cut into it later. But anyways, happy Thursday. I have been doing a bunch of stuff this morning, doing laundry, doing some posts, things like that. And I also stayed up till about 1.30 last night finishing a book because it was so good. I read The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. It was so, so good, highly recommend. Anyways, I'm gonna get some stuff done and eat lunch. It's literally almost noon. I'm so excited right now because I just got a package in the mail and I wanted to do a little unboxing. Can you tell what it is by the packaging? It is a book if you couldn't. I'm so excited getting a new book. Oh my goodness. So if you don't know, I read this book. It was my favorite book that I read in May and one of my favorite romances of all time. And I wanted the paperback version. So I ordered it. It actually went on a little sale. It was like maybe $11 instead of like 12 or 13. I'm not sure, but I saw that and I was like, I need it. And it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Getting new books is literally the funnest thing ever. It makes me want to order them more, but also I'm like, I don't need me spending a ton of money on books, but this one I loved so much that I really wanted the paper copy. And the cover is literally so cute. I'm obsessed. It just really brings that whole second chance romance summer vibe. And I'm just so excited about it. I'm so excited to have this book. I kind of want to get like tabs for books. I've been seeing people get like little tabs that you can put in books to like, not annotate, but like mark the books to have, I don't know what I'm trying to say, I can't remember, but so you can go back to a specific spot that you remember liking because I don't like to highlight in books, unless it's on my Kindle, I don't like to actually write or highlight in an actual book, but I think that would be really fun to like, have tabs and stuff. I'm gonna shut up about books now. I'm going to probably make some toast for lunch. I'm going to wait till that bread is cooled so I can cut it and use it. And I'm hopeful that it'll taste good. And I'm gonna do some editing, videos, photos, all the things. I did a good bit of editing yesterday on a family session that I did, which was super cute and fun. So I'm excited about that. I need to make like a reel and post and things like that for that session. dining room right now. It's super gloomy and stormy outside. So I'm not going to use this light, but I had eggs and I ate some of the sourdough for lunch and it was actually really good, less dense than the other loaves. And I think it tasted really good, but Lily got on the counter and knocked off half of the loaf and ate some of it. So I had to throw that away, <laughs> but overall it was good. So I don't think it was a complete failure. And then I got some editing done. Now I've decided that I really want to go through my bookcase. If you don't know, I have a bookcase right here in our dining room. And then Ethan has a bookcase in his office or in our office with his books on it, but these are mostly my books. So I wanna go through it. I'm going to be selling some of them on like Facebook Marketplace, just in bulk because I don't want them anymore. So I have the books on the table that I'm getting rid of. Some super random ones, like I have Milk and Honey and The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Carr. 
They're great po poetry books, but obviously I haven't read them since the first time I got it. The Click, such an old book. And The Lightning Thief and The Scorch Trials. I think I read those for school or something. So I'm getting rid of those. And then the nicer ones I have is Binge by Tyler Oakley. He's a YouTuber. I don't watch him anymore or follow him, but he came out with a book a very long time ago and I bought it and read it. I'm trying to see when it came out. 2015, so a long time ago, but I read it like once. Obviously, I don't reuse it anymore. Then I have this photography book. It's by Brandon Wolfel. He's a very popular photographer. And obviously, don't look at this anymore. I have a Justin Bieber's Just Getting Started book. Also, don't read that. And then I have Bethany Moda's Make Your Mind Up book. It's actually a signed copy from Target, but I never finished it. So I'm getting rid of those. Now that I've done that, I want to reorganize my bookshelf because I feel like it's not very organized. I just put things where they fit. So I think I'm gonna move my Bibles down and put them with my notebooks and then put all my Christian books together, put all the fiction books together, kind of make it more organized because right now it's not. So that's what we're gonna do. so excited but in the process of organizing I found this box of pens I think it was a gift I can't remember but they're really pretty so I'm going to put them in my office and also with my Bible because they're super cute they have Bible verses on them and I've been needing some pens so excited about that all right I'm gonna take you through a little bookcase tour so at the top shelf is all my Christian books Honestly, I should organize them maybe by subject. I don't really know. But I have our marriage journal from last year, Devo, some books I thrifted, Anxious for Nothing by Max Vicato. Love this book. Power of Green Life. I did finish and I loved it a lot. Made for This Moment by Maddie Pruitt. I love this. Now I have a few Lisa Turner's books. Honestly, these should go over here. I have What Happens When Women Say Yes to God, Uninvited. It's not supposed to be this way and forgetting what you can't forget. I love Lisa Tucker. She's one of my favorite Christian authors. So good. To Hell with the Hustle by Jefferson Bethke. I read this in 2020. I loved it. It was so good. The Magnolia Story about Chicken Joint Gangs. Love that. Five Love Languages. Super good. Single Dating Engaged Married. Love this. Highly recommend if you're currently dating or single, engaged, married, all the above. Really good. I have Faith Forward Future by Chad Beach. It's actually signed because he came to my church, which is super cool. It was very nice. I didn't finish reading this book either, I don't think. And then I have a few books from School Ministry. Power of Humility by R.T. Kendall. The Baby Satan by John Bevere. Such good books. Life That Lack by Dallas Willard. Love that book. The Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer. I love A.W. Tozer. His books are so good. Oh, another one by A.W. Tozer. A Cloud by Day, A Fire by Night. So good. Seven Days That About the World by John C. Lennox. This is about Genesis and science and stuff, which is super interesting. Then I have The Meaning of Marriage by Timothy Keller. I love this book. It's so good. Highly recommend if you're getting married or if you're married. Get Out of Your Head by Jenny Allen. I love this one too. Jesus Is by Judith Smith is super good. Exquisite Agony by Jean Edwards. Super good as well. Cultivating the Fruit of the Spirit. I've talked about this and I love it a lot. Also, If I Were God, I Didn't Build the Pain. I just finished reading this one. I also have a ton of books that I really love that Ethan owns. So they're in his bookcase, but obviously I own them too. Now onto the middle section, which is very empty as you can see, which is very exciting. So I have, <laughs> hi Lily. I have the Hunger Games series and the prequel, which is the Ballad of Songbird and, Songbirds and Snakes. They are coming out with a movie, which I'm very excited about. I love the Hunger Games series, and this prequel was actually so good. I had The Choice by Nicholas Sparks. I don't know where I got this, but I've not read it. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Literally one of my favorite books ever. I've read it like four times. So good, and I wanted the original copy, like the paperback, so I bought it at a thrift store. This is the book that I got today, every summer after, so good. And then this is Abby Jimenez, Life's Too Short. I love this book. Then I have The Giver, which I read in high school, which is pretty good. I remember enjoying it. And then I have Sam's Letters to Jennifer by James Patterson, and I'll remember by Nicholas Sparks. I haven't read those, don't know how I got them. But I have really a lot of room, which is very exciting. Might as well sit on the floor at this point, but on this shelf, I moved all of my notebooks, so I have a bunch of random notebooks, and then a bunch of journals, and then all my Bibles, so I have different translations, so I have ESV, hi, New Living Translation, a study Bible, another study Bible, importance, that kind of stuff, and then at the bottom, I pretty much just use it to store stuff from our wedding, photo albums, some gift bags, this harness that 
I could return a steamer. Thank you, Courts from a Wedding. Stuff from a Wedding. I hope you enjoyed this little impromptu bookcase organization plus bookcase tour. It was kind of fun. I really enjoyed taking you through my bookcase. And I'm hopeful that the second shelf will become full as I get more books, which is very exciting. This honestly getting rid of some books makes me feel better about buying books because I usually just read them like from the library or Kindle Unlimited or something. I'm excited to hopefully fill up the bookcase. And I'm glad that I have room now and they're more organized with like all the different books that I have. So, hope you enjoyed this. It is now Friday. This has become like a four day vlog, but I'm not calling it a week in my life, I don't think, because my Trader Joe's video is a week in my life. Speaking of which, last night we cooked the orange chicken and fried rice. It was very yummy, but I will show more of that in my Trader Joe's video. It's looking like this video is gonna go up before that one because we still haven't tried everything. So my next video should be trying things from Trader Joe's. I hope. I've been working on this video for so long that I hope it comes out soon but anyways i've been doing my quiet time i actually had something that i wanted to share yesterday for my devo but i forgot so i thought i would share it today it's from this devotional my utmost first highest by oswald chambers i love this it's like a daily devotional for every day of the year and i don't read it every day but just when i'm feeling it i might read it instead of reading my bible or read the verses in it instead of like reading a chapter of my bible but i wanted to share a quote from it because i thought it was just so good and it's basically talking about being being obsessed by something honestly the words that he uses are very like just a different kind of language that he writes with but anyways a few quotes that i liked were the abiding awareness of the christian life is to be god himself not just thoughts about him and then how can we dare to be so absolutely unbelieving when god totally surrounds us i thought that was so so good just like the idea of worrying but why are we worrying because god literally surrounds us i thought that was so so good so i wanted to share that just a simple quote. And then this morning I started reading this book that I borrowed from the library. It's Who Are You Following by Sadie Robertson Huff. And it's pretty good. I only read one chapter, but pretty good so far. But today I'm probably gonna make breakfast here soon. It's about 8, 12. And then I'm taking my grandmother somewhere. It's National Donut Day, so we'll probably get a donut at some point today. I'm so sorry, there's something in my eye. And I gotta get some work done, but that's pretty much the plan for the day. The dogs or snoozing on the couch. We try not to let them on the couch, but if they will lay down and not bother me, I will let them on the couch. So I have to show you what it looks like right now. She is snoozing, snoozy girl over there. And Rosie's right here. But anyways, that's the day. Happy Friday. So happy that it's the weekend. It's gonna be a fun weekend. It's obviously a lot later and I'm sitting at my desk doing some editing on this vlog. I also made a coffee because I'm exhausted and the Trader Joe's creamer, I talked about it a little bit earlier in this vlog, it's so good. So I made a latte with that. I just put a little bit of oat milk, not very much because I used the creamer and then a shot of espresso and some of the creamer on top. So good. But yeah, just getting some stuff done. But I've been meaning to say this whole vlog, something very important is that me and Ethan finished watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. If you watch my vlogs, you know I love Brooklyn Nine-Nine so much. I talked about it a long time ago because we first started watching it maybe last summer, maybe last fall, I'm not sure. And we were on like season six and we stopped watching it. I don't know, we just got busy watching other shows or just like doing other things, I don't even know. And we just stopped watching it. So recently, like maybe a few weeks ago, a month ago, we started watching it again and there's only eight seasons. So we didn't have much left to watch. And the last two seasons are pretty short. But the other day we finished the show and I cried. I am so sad to be finished with it because I loved it so much. It's one of my favorite shows. It's basically a crime show that's very funny. Also, I didn't realize that while we were watching it last fall, it was airing on TV. Literally the last season was airing on TV, I think. I'm not sure when the last episode came out. The last episode came out in September of 2021, which is kind of crazy that we were like watching it as it was still airing, but the show's over obviously. And I'm very sad about it because it was so good. It's on Hulu if you wanna watch it. It's just so good. If you want like a feel good show that's gonna make you laugh, but also if you like crime shows, this is what you need to watch. It's so good. So anyways, me and Ethan finished that, which was very sad. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because it's pretty long and it's going up tomorrow. So 
I'm going in to finish the last little edits on it and get it up. But thank you so much for watching. I'm so thankful for all of you that watch my videos, that comment, that follow me on Instagram, subscribe, all that stuff. It means the world to me. And I'm so thankful and hope you enjoyed kind of the more book aspect of this vlog is pretty much making sourdough and talking about books. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe. I post Tuesday and Saturday on a normal week. Obviously I didn't this week because of Memorial Day, but most of the time those are the days that I post. You can also follow me on Instagram, my regular Instagram, and my book Instagram. I like to plug my book Instagram because I'm having so much fun. I've started posting more on stories and things like that. And it's just so fun to have people to talk about books with. But I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.